Coming to you live from the Contaminated Dungeon, it's Max the Animal and Nikki Snacks here on Bagels and Locks. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Bagels and Locks. I am your host, Max the Animal, joined by my partner, Nikki Snacks. And as always, we will be giving you our best bets for this week's NFL action. Week five. You had me worried for a little bit. Come I thought on. you were well before that. When I looked at you, you looked like you were just like I zoned out for a second. Yeah, I was nervous. You know, it's probably from uh, going one and two. The yeah, past two yeah, weeks. Back, back weeks. But you know Yikes. what? Yikes! You know what? It's it's okay. It's okay. Eight and four, four and eight. But this is what happens. I start slow, and then I start picking up traction, which starts probably not this week, but the next week. We'll so see. So don't take snacks picks this nope. week. Nope. Wait another week. Wait one more week. And uh, as you can tell. Went back to the robe from the earlier season. Just a little throwback to the earlier season. Yeah, I wish I got the memo. Uh, your robe's been here for two or three years, so you could have actually, you know, had it on. There you go. Go get it. Be careful. There is a lot of dust. So, um, all right. I'm going to give you my first pick. I got my card backwards here, so give me a second here. All right. We got the Broncos at... The Pittsburgh Steelers minus one and a half. Teddy Bridgewater is back. Listen, it's simple. This game here, we have two teams coming off some some losses. But here's the deal. The Broncos was a loss due to we had some injury with Teddy with the concussions. Um I'm gonna, you know, we I'm, had gonna some, sne- I'm gonna sneeze too much. We had some offensive line uh troubles. I just love the Broncos so much this week. Yeah, you're going to say homer pick, whatever. That's why I'm getting it out of the way. I'm getting it out of the way now. Minus one and a half. I love this pick. Ben is done. Like, Ben is done. He's basically in the cast. He's like a, it's like a weekend at Ben's. That's what it's like. They're basically carrying him on the field. He's f- dead. He can only, yeah. <laughs> like this. Ben's going to be walking on the field, doing the Bernie, and it's over. Broncos, minus one and a half. Lock it in. It's simple. Homer pick. Um... Weekend at Bernie's is actually one of the more underrated funny movies of all time. Such a great film, guys. If, if you, you if you haven't seen it, it's a little older, so I don't know how yeah, old it's you are. Probably you mid eighties or something. In yeah, I don't know. It's, but it's, it's absolutely classic. hysterical. It's, it's hysterical. classic. So that's we're gonna do something that we normally don't do, but we're gonna pick from the same game, which is crazy, isn't it? Instead, Big Ben is so done that I don't even know. I don't even know how much more done somebody could be. Like maybe Jimmy Hoffa done, who's been done for for a long time. Maybe he's still alive. I don't know. We do know where Ben is, though. We do know where Ben is. We don't know where Jimmy is. So what I'm going to do is I think the Steelers are on their last legs. Ben is on their last legs. This is it. There's a lot of turmoil in Pittsburgh. What are they going to do? Are they going to bench Ben? Are they going to play that bum Haskins? What are they going to do? Mike Tomlin has never been under 500 in his career. And he's probably going to be this year. But we're going to start talking about him never being under 500 in his career after this week because the Steelers are going to win outright. And I'm going Steelers plus one and a half at home. I think this might be the last time they have a chance to win a game uh, because the division's good. I don't know their schedule, to be honest. They suck. They really do. So the fact that it's only one and a half, and if you flip it and you're going to Denver and you're saying the three points get added on, it's only four and a half. I think Vegas has this pretty damn close. So I'm going to take the one and a half for the Pittsburgh Steelers, a prestigious organization at home, one and a half. Ben plays not horrifically. I don't think Ben finishes his game. I don't think the Steelers score 20 points. That's my prediction. If Ben um, doesn't finish a game, I like my chances a lot. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That should be interesting because that's an automatic. Uh, yeah, it's, that's, a big, yeah. that's a big difference no, here. No one's going. Uh, one of us is not going three. Yep, yep. All right. Moving on. Second pick. I got a good one here for you. A little different from uh, what I've been doing the past couple weeks. I'm going to give you an over. But which over do you say? Well, I'll tell you. It's the New Orleans Saints going to the Washington football team. Um, I'm taking the over. It's 43 and a half. This seems uh, suspicious. 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 Suspiciously. Why can't I say that? I used to be always. I don't even know if I can. Suspicious. Suspiciously. Suspiciously, Suspiciously low. Suspiciously. Holy shit. Now try and spell it. S U S P I C I O S. There's a U in there. U L Y. You threw me off with the U. Well, there is one. I was trying to help you. Suspiciously. 
S U S P R I C I S O U S L Y. Suspiciously. Can't do fact. I got it now. Now I can say, you know, maybe that's the key. You spell it out. All right. Well, I don't really have any analysis now because I just wasted all the time trying to say one word. It's but over pick. 43 and a half seems super low for this game. I know it's Taylor Heineke. I know it's Jameis Winston. It's not desirable. You're thinking, like, how are they going to score points? They're going to do it somehow. I'm pretty sure Heineke dropped 41 the other week, right? What was 30, 34 30? against Atlanta, 29 against the Giants. Yeah. Or, or th- I'm sorry. I think it was 30 to whatever it was against 30, the Giants. 30, 30, 29. Back-to-back 30-point games. Yeah, like, yeah. This game... It's 43 and a half is a steal. You should hammer it. It's simple. It's a lock. Don't fade animal. Let's go over 43 and a half. Honestly, I'm going to start saying that that should just be your analysis. It's simple. I'm sharp. Don't fade animal. Boom. That's it. Why not? Well, anyway. I'm going to switch this up. I was going to take this as my big lock, but you know, I was kind of, for whatever reason, I was a little bit on the fence, but I, I'm gonna I'm gonna convince myself here because that's what I need to do at four and eight. I gotta I gotta I gotta start figuring some shit out um, outside of my life and my liver. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go across the country, if you don't mind. Can we go? Can we go west? We're gonna go west. We're gonna go to Los Angeles. The Browns are playing at the Chargers, so it's probably a Browns home game because there's no Charger fans in the world, especially in Los Angeles. The, the NFL and that team really did them dirty. But they're minus two against a very beat up, banged up, overrated Browns team. Baker Mayfield's apparently playing with a torn labrum. Like, I get that he's really not the the marquee of their success, and it's how they run the football with Chubb and Hunt and everything like that. But when you got a torn labrum and you got Bosa coming out one end, he's going to get to the quarterback. The Chargers are playing very well. They so went- wait, hold on. No, 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 you pick. You keep going. No, I'm sorry. No, 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 no you can't. No, I don't no, want to. You don't interrupt me. I don't want to interrupt oh, you. I, I interrupt you all the time. I was time. just going to say, how does the torn labrum have anything to do with hit the Bosa getting to him? If he hits him, he's Oh, f- yeah, but like you're making it seem like Baker's torn labrum is going to affect the tackle you ever blocking get, him. You ever see a hit on a quarterback? No, no, like I'm, that? I'm just he saying. He could be absolutely f- Do it. Well, I'm well, not. Do it. Hold on one second. Just do it. No, we're not going to do it. Do it. Oh. That. Dude, I just eat. I would. I have a good chin though. I can literally. F- I could be I a barely boxer. touch it. Anyway, I I, I, I think that the Chargers are playing very well right now. The Browns, not so much. I don't trust them going on the road to L.A. Uh, it's not a hostile environment whatsoever, so I'm not going to bring that up. But it is on the road. It's a West Coast for an East Coast team. A banged up Baker. And go check the Cleveland Browns injury report. They may wind up all playing, but you got Garrett on it. You got Clowney on it. You got Ward on it. You got all these guys. On the injury report that are questionable. So I'm going to take the two while I got it. And we're going to go Chargers minus two over the Browns. All right. Yeah, no, I like that pick too, actually. I would never pick the Chargers just because of the... Right, exactly. It's 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 like me picking the Cowboys. It's a personal thing, so I won't do it. Um, All right, cool. Good pick. Let's, Let's head over to the studio for the underdog play of the day. But before we do that, I have a quick announcement. If we don't hit this underdog... Uh, play this week. Next week, we will have a big dog pick of the week. Wow. Courtesy of one of you big dogs out there. But let's see. I mean, it's question, up to us. Question. Yes. Do we have to go 2-0 and or just 1-1? One one? Well, no. We, this has to hit. It's a 2 this ha- Oh, it is. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. okay. Well, well we don't I'm know just, it, but I'm just making we're going to go to the sure. studio right now and find out. So take us away. <laughs> wow. Thanks, Snacks and Animal. That's awesome. What a show you guys are doing today. Let's do the Underdog Play of the Day available for Underdog Fantasy, or you could download it on Underdog Fantasy, the app, and underdogfantasy.com. Available everywhere. Yeah. All right. On the phone. My play is twenty. Uh, Hunter Henry, 29 and a half receiving yards. This over has also hit three out of three weeks in a row, and it will hit this week. Sharp. Yes. We're just going to stick with the Henrys. I'm going with Derrick Henry over 115 and a half rushing yards against the Jacksonville Jaguars. It's simple. I'm sharp. And it's simple. This is the Triple H special because we got the Henry, Henry, and the hammer this because that was make the third H, the hammer. You got to hammer ooh. this. Henry, this is Henry. a 3X hammer. Over, uh, over, 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 both over. Both of these over. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. Thank us later. Yeah. All right. Take us back. All right! Wow, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, implications on the line too. A lot of a lot of lot of riding on that underdog play this week because of the big dog pick. Well, I don't know what you're doing over there, but oh, did you hear that sound? Nope. 
Yeah, there it is again. Got it. No, it's in that corner now. I heard it in that one. No, it's in that one. Do I, but, have, del- do I have delayed hearing? But it means it's time for the big look. Looks good. Yes. All right, big lock time. I got one for you. All right, give it to us. Let's. Uh, I think last week, by the way, was the first big lock of mine that ever lost this year. Interesting. Just which so, one was it? It was the Lions plus ah, three. That's right. that, Listen, that was such a shitty big. Also, lock. no. See, here's the thing with that game. Not to not, not to go Lions back. But lock. what happened was they had three turnovers in the red zone. They really should have covered that well, game. They're the Detroit Lions. Yeah. So I'll never bet them again. <laughs> they never are bet the them Detroit again. Lions. I'll never bet them again. But my big lock is the Packers at the Bengals minus two and a half. Minus two and a half for the Packers. That's a good bet. Guys, this is insane. I was going to have it in my first pick, and I was like, you know what? This is stupid. It's the big lock. It has to be the big lock. I don't care if it's a trap game. I don't care if it's a trap game. I don't care if... It, just put me... Trap me right now. Lock me up in a in a, in a, in a cage. I, put me in a cage or something, because this is this is a steal. Here, they're both three and one, but get ready, get ready for this. The Bengals wins uh, a Vikings overtime win. Uh, they beat the that Steelers. They lost. Yeah, they beat the Steelers... Uh, like 24 to 10. Steelers didn't even score. Steelers scored 10 points. All right, so they suck. Uh, and then the, they barely beat the Jaguars. What are we doing, Vegas? It's not great competition. What are we doing? Now, Two and a half. Take this up to five and a half. I don't care. I don't want to. I, I don't want to interrupt, but do you like smell a trap or no? I mean, it looks like it's supposed to. I think the, the whole exactly point of this what game it looks is, like, is a trap. they're trying to make it look like a trap so you don't bet it. Because he came in here saying he liked the Bengals. I said, what are, I you, did say that. What are you, crazy? I, I have no analysis other than this is this is bad shit crazy from Vegas to say Packers minus two and a half. It's probably going to be minus three, minus three and a half by the time this gets to you guys. Yeah, by a point. Get it, damn. But minus three, you can take it. I could go on forever about this. This is crazy. Go ahead. Go ahead, King. No, it's simple. It's just Packers minus two and a half. I don't know how... This loses. Okay. You could parlay these for uh, some money. <laughs> well, all right. So, what, what city is famous for cheesesteaks? Uh, Chicago. No, that's deep dish pizza. Detroit? No, that's uh, mm-hmm. for Ford. <laughs> uh, Philadelphia. Philadelphia. That's right. Scum City, they honor a fictional character with a statue. You ever think how stupid that is? It's really not a good look. It's the stu- Oh, wait, you're talking about Rocky? Yeah. Dude, no, Rocky's the shit. I thought you were talking about Nick Foles. No, well, <laughs> well, I'll get to that. I'll get to that. <laughs> I almost f- the camera right, no, 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 no. But he's a fictional character. They have a statue of him. Yeah, but he literally, he's a symbol. He means a lot. Rocky is- A symbol of what? Of strength, hope, the underdog. He got his friend killed. He did He's a murderer. He's an accessory to murder. All right, we're going way anyway, off topic anyway, here. Rocky's an accessory to murder. Hot take. No one ever told you that. But yeah, yeah. Shit thrown towel in a lot longer. Apollo Creed's dead because of Rocky. And Philadelphia honors him because of scum, f- douchebag, scumbag, vile of the earth people. And the cheesesteaks are overrated too. Anyway, my big lock resides in Philly. Actually, it resides in Carolina. And I'm taking the Panthers minus three over Philly. I think Philly absolutely sucks. Sorry, I, I know I'm a Giants fan. I, I shouldn't be saying teams suck and whatnot. But that is not a good Philadelphia team. Jalen Hurts is terrible. The offensive line's banged up. Carolina's got a ferocious defensive front. They're going to attack that stupid little gadget quarterback all game long. Devontae Smith is going to get locked down by is Stephen Gilmore even playing. doesn't matter. He's going to get locked down by him or somebody else. Matt Rule is going to have a great game plan. Carolina's going to beat the ever-living piss out of Philly. Minus three. Carolina Panthers at home. Big lock. Lock it the f*** in. Do it now. Stop wasting time. Just do it. Just do it. Don't pile any of these. One of them's going to lose. That's good analysis. I like it. By the way, we both threw ours right on that case. Hey, it's sharp. It's sharp. Yeah. All right, everybody. That's the show. Thanks for watching. Uh, really appreciate it. Please comment below your big locks. Uh, and if you watch after and we and we lose one of these underdog plays, start sending in your big locks. Oh, yeah, okay? get ready. Start sending the, them in. Um, just in case we do lose the underdog play of the day, the email is bagelslocks at gmail.com. Bagelslocks at gmail.com. Not bagels and, it's bagels, bagels locks. locks. 
or you or can always DM you on me Twitter. on Twitter and let me know that you want to do it. And maybe yeah. if you're the first person and you guarantee to send a video, I'll let you do it. Because we usually get 100 a week, so. That's true. Um, all right, thanks for watching. That's the show. Bagels and Locks. Week five. <laughs>